President Bola Tinubu has cancelled the controversial deduction of 40% of internally generated revenues, IGR, from federal universities across the country. The president, who was represented by the Minister for Education, Tahir Maman, spoke on Friday at the 75th Founders Day ceremony of the University of Ibado and described the policy implementation as ill-timed. He also maintained that it was not the best time for such a policy since the nation's universities are struggling. In his speech as a visitor to the university, Tinubu pledged his commitment to the reform of the nation's education sector as the bedrock for national development. He said the 40% IGR automatic deduction policy stands cancelled. The federal government, in a later dated October 17, 2023, titled Implementation of 40% Automatic Deduction from Internally Generated Revenue of Partially Funded Federal Government Institutions, said it would begin the deduction with effect from November 2023. To discuss this, we're joined by Kenneth Ikenwa, lecturer and management consultant, Department of Business Administration, University of Lagos. Thank you very much for giving us your time on Nigeria tonight. As a university lecturer, how do you perceive President Bola Tinubu's decision to cancel the deduction of 40% of IGR from federal universities? And how might this impact the financial stability and functioning of these institutions? All right, thank you. Good evening once again for having me on. Um, it's all smiles for me. Uh, I had that news this afternoon. I was quite elated. Uh, I think it's a landmark in uh, our democratic trajectory that we are beginning to have a government, hopefully, that listens. And so, um, for now, it is not yet Uhuru, but I would say that it's a good thing that the government was able to bend over. Now, I would not be speaking for all universities, but I'm speaking in my capacity uh, as a stakeholder, as a service provider in the university system. I would say that, well, it's a good thing that the submission was made, that it was a decision that was ill-timed, and it should not even be a decision that should come up, that should have come up from any quarters at all. It would um, definitely have a, a, a multiplier effect on the university system, but uh, I'm saying that even that is not enough. Universities have to go out of their way to see how they can maintain infrastructure and generate revenue from all corners, and so we are even asking for more. So I use this opportunity to thank, you know, um, platforms like yours and other free, uh, 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 freedom, uh, other platforms that actually encourage us to have free speech in this country to express ourselves. It's uh, congratulations to you guys. It is a win for the Nigerian media. And we also appreciate all those prominent Nigerians that contributed the voice <laughs> to uh, discrediting this policy. Well, you're grateful. You're, you're, you're certainly asking for more, that you need more. 40% uh, is not well, well, enough. The uh, let me then ask you, what more. challenges do you think uh, Purdue universities faced due to the initial policy of deducting that significant portion of their IGR? And how might this cancellation address those challenges? As briefly as you can. All right, the policy had not been implemented. It was just still in motion. Uh, it would definitely have meant that we would not have had, most federal investors would not have had uh, what we call slack funds to be able to um, um, uh, go into research, development, pursue innovation, and also take care of basic special amenities that are needed by, by members of university community, students, lecturers, and other stakeholders alike. So now that those funds have been freed up, um, it means that we can actually focus and not be distracted. And I hope that we can see the best that will come out when we have policies like these that are no longer the kind of policies that the government will try to be pushing for. But we also, I would also use the opportunity to ask the federal government and the president of the Federal Republic to please release the eight months salaries that have been held back as a result of, uh, well, an, an action that took place uh, some years ago, the, I think last year to be precise. That will motivate staff more, and we will see that uh, it would actually enhance the capacity that we'll be delivering as members of staff in the university going forward. Um, you said more is needed. I want to ask you what alternative strategies or measures could be implemented to ensure adequate funding for universities without compromising their operational capabilities, especially considering all the struggles that you face? 
All right, by law, there's an education tax that companies pay um, from the profits they generate, I think it's about 2%. So I think that, um, I hope my head won't be called for if I ask that we up that to about uh, 3% or 4% uh, from company taxes. And we are also aware that the government claimed that they've been able to save 400 billion from subsidy on petrol uh, since the advent of this uh, government. So if you are able to save 400 billion, we are, I am asking, I am proposing that the government should set aside some 10 to 15 percent from that 400 billion and disburse to federal universities and other state universities alike so that we can use it to pursue some research and developmental uh, agenda and um, everybody will see this as a win-win situation at the end of the day. So there are many alternatives. There are many doctrines of alternatives that can be, you know, evoked. And um, it will just mean that we would have to manage these resources more, be more transparent, be more accountable, and ensure full disclosure in the management and the disbursement of these slack resources. Uh, reflecting on the uh, statement um, that the policy was ill-timed, uh, due to the struggles faced by the nation's universities, what specific areas or aspects of university operations do you believe need immediate attention or improvement to enhance the overall quality of education in Nigeria? You've mentioned one already, paying off the eight months that's been old lecturers. That's one way to motivate uh, lecturers to get to work. All right, we have different uh, generations of universities uh, in, in the country, especially at the federal university level, even at the state university level. And you will discover that most of the infrastructure are quite old, and those infrastructure are being overstretched. So you have, for instance, facilities that were actually built to maybe take um, a capacity of 200 or 100 students, being used by 500 students for lectures, and we need to expand this infrastructure so that they don't collapse, and so that the students themselves and the, the lecturers, the service deliverers, can also have the ambience to give their best and receive the best from the university system. We also need to fund and develop capacity of, of those that are service providers, both academic and non-academic staff in Nigerian universities as it stands. People need to go on conferences. We need to sponsor our professors and young early academicians abroad so that they can represent Nigeria gain from global knowledge, tap from external knowledge, and bring this knowledge back home and contribute to the economic growth and development of Nigeria. These and many other you know, aspects are aspects where we actually need funding. We need it in infrastructure. We need it to pursue innovation. We need it to you know, grow the capacity of Nigerian universities so that between now and the next two years, I am hopeful that we can have at least three to four federal Nigerian universities rating among the first 50 universities in the world. This is very possible, and these are the kind of things I would expect that the government should channel, channel energies to so that we can improve our ratings. It is very possible. I agree with you. Thank you very much, Kenneth, for speaking with us, and of course for the kind words uh, for the media. Thank you. Thank you so much.